Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are all doing well. I wanted to do this unboxing with you today. You guys know I love Hermes tableware and I do collect them. So I picked up some new pieces or like new for me. I'm just gonna take all of them out. I think I know which one is which. I guess we can get the makeup bits out of the way. I picked up two things. I'll go with this one. This is their tinted moisturizer. Don't exactly know how to pronounce this, but I was a little bit bummed out that this didn't come with the box it's just orange inside which is this i mean even their lipstick had a little mini orange box so i'm not sure what that's about this is their natural enhancing complexion balm and i went with shade 40. this looked like a light to medium like yellow base kind of shade so i thought this would be perfect and i have tried it already to be honest i'm not like totally in love with it it is a bit more on the thicker side like a squeezy tube like a toothpaste but i do like that it has spf 30. so this has been my go-to product as of late this is another like tinted sunscreen but it is starting to get a little too dark for me and it does have a very like peachy undertone so it's a little bit too peachy on my skin tone i'm starting to see a bit more separation and like difference between my face and my neck but in terms of coverage this literally gives you zero coverage so i've been loving mixing that with this chanel foundation i think this is a foundation it's very similar to that water tint that i love from chanel and you can see the spring go up so it's very easy to tell like how much product you have left and then when i mix the holy sun with the hermes tinted moisturizer i get a lot more coverage but this just feels a little too thick for me so you got to really blend this out i like a very thin base so even something like this feels a little too thick but like compared to other products on average this is really not that thick so yeah these three products have been kind of like my go-to base makeup items so let's throw this away and then this is a blush and i realized that all hermes makeup probably smell the same my very first item was the rose tan lipstick which i still have i'm actually wearing it right now i've been meaning to try their blush because i feel like their quality would be really really nice i just love the design this is the pan can you see that this actual blush kind of off-centered it's more towards the bottom right it's all intentional like little details that always like get me and the packaging of course it's so sick this is also on the bottom of the lipstick which i will get <laughs> this is the lipstick i'm talking about i really want to get another lipstick but i don't know there's no other shade that is like as good as this one this is the rose tan i thought that's why this lipstick kind of smelled rosy but i realized that all of these smell the same so i'm guessing that's how all like hermes makeup smells like i'm not sure but i love it it's a very like romantic rosy scent it's really really good but i can see why some people would think that it's a little too fragrance because sometimes where when i wear this blush i can like smell it on my face and this is the blush i'm wearing right now can you tell it's like right here it is so beautiful it is such a pretty warm tone rosy blush the quality is amazing like amazing it's so pigmented and the shade is rose tan again and then let's get into the actual unboxing my number one collection from the hermes tableware is the h deco the art deco um, from hermes oh, yes i'm gonna show this to you guys together the h deco in black and the rouge for the longest time i was not a big fan of this because it just looked a little too red and like bloody almost but this year has been the year of h deco rouge for me i've been collecting any pieces that i'm like interested in in this color and i love it so much i always think of gatsby when i see this um collection okay the rest of them i think i know which one is which so i think i'm gonna go with this one first i told you i love h deco look how tiny this is more for like hot chocolate, latte, tea, stuff like that. And this is for like espresso, like black coffee, something more like decadent and light. Look how cute. This I'm really excited to show you guys. Wow, I didn't think I could get this because this has been on back order for so long. Do you see this? This is me guys on a plate all my leos out there i started off with the h deco and the mosaic collection the platinum one but i think this collection is like 
the best. So I got this one and then I cannot believe they also had this one because these two were like next up my list. These are the dessert plates, so they're a lot smaller. But to be honest, I don't really reach for those dinner plates. They're so big on most days, like this is all I need. And look at all the details, all those like white lines everywhere. And the reason why I wanted this one is because I wanted to display this next to this. My absolute favorite. Look how beautiful. This is like one of the best plates in general that I have ever seen. Look at them side by side. This is epic. Hey guys, I am in my closet right now because I need to leave and like where I had to leave like 30 seconds ago. I am going to a concert show to see this DJ um, Audion. I'm just wearing this tube top from Kate and then I went with these skinny, like coated skinny jeans. Um, from La Jeans. I got it last year and I love it. They're kind of in between like black skinny jeans and leather leggings, which are, you know, two of my favorite things. Kind of like my go-to piece for like going out. But I feel like I'm still gonna need some kind of jacket or like a cardigan. So let's see. I feel like this kind of put Aritzi on the map. Like this was such a popular cardigan. I'm just gonna have it like on my shoulder like this. Um, in case it gets cold <laughs> and then for my bag wallet on chain this is like the best bag for going out especially because it's in caviar leather and then i just put a little ring in here like a little clasp to put all the chains together and that way this creates like the most perfect crossbody length for me that you can't see hold on excuse the mess it's horrible but yep this top the coat is skinny and then this bag maybe it's a little too short i'm not sure maybe i need like a smaller class but this will do and then my favorite lip gloss the chanel let me see 804 I'm making this right now the easiest cinnamon apple tart. It's supposed to look like this. So hope for the best. It <laughs> should be pretty easy. I only use butter, honey crisp apple. Sorry if it's too loud. There's like football playing in the background. And then maple syrup and cinnamon. And yeah, that's it. So let's put this in and bake it in the oven. The butter thing kind of burned on the side, right? But it looks so good. You want some? Wow, it's so good. products from this brand it smells so good you hear the birds mm -hmm. i got a new one today but i think this might be the new formula because i heard there's a new formula it's a lot lighter like in scent and the consistency so i feel like it is it already looks a little different i think it's supposed to be more effective too so we shall see <laughs> <laughs> hey guys welcome to my kitchen i'm about to make some dinner and today i'm going to make chicken parm i've been loving this cookbook here's a little sneak peek of what it's supposed to look like this chili oil i got from erwan this is really good but i think i might prefer the trader joe's one i feel like that one is a little bit sweeter and has a little more flavor whereas this one it's just a lot of spice a lot of heat which i do like as well but so yeah i've been marinating this and i realized that i have already diverted from the original recipe this is my panko mixture i have panko uh, parmesan cheese and then some fresh basil leaves oh this looks so scary <laughs> It looks pretty good, right? 
so you're supposed to cook the chicken on the skillet first but i'm basically skipping all that like butter it's just an extra step so i don't want to do it and then i'm just gonna bake it in the oven a little longer because they are pretty big pieces too in the meantime let's go walk the dog this in here <laughs> I flipped the chicken midway because I realized these chunks are really really thick so I wanted them to cook a little faster and evenly and now I'm just putting on some pasta sauce and I'm gonna sprinkle on some cheese and then broil it okay the dinner was really really good that's my leftover and then when I was walking my dog I could smell that someone was baking chocolate chip cookies oh my god it smells so good and I actually had this chocolate chip cookie dough it's store-bought but they use almond flour I think I know it looks so funny but I'm going to cut this off I think I'm gonna freeze the rest of the dough because even this is like a lot they smell amazing I wish you could smell them walk that way I can't. She's not letting me. I got a pumpkin spice latte from Equator Coffee and it's too sweet. Wish you did the waffle sandwich. You didn't do a waffle. It's too much bread. That's really good. How's your drink? Okay. It's really sweet. Is it everything you wanted and more? Like two weeks early. <laughs> No, it is so sunny today. Like that one day I don't pack sunglasses. I was trying to kind of get into like the fall mood. So I wore this like sweater, um, leather shorts, and my knee-high boots, but it's getting hot. <laughs> 